Hello, in this video we are going to evaluate without making use of calculator the cube root of 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 and divided by 9 to the power of 9 So what we are going to do is we can as well concentrate on what we have inside this cube root first Now let's consider this analogy if you have a to the power of a divided by a to the power of a divided by a to the power of a and divided by a to the power of a this is in the form of what we have inside this cube root so what you have to do is to concentrate on the first two terms here we have a to the power of a divided by a to the power of a so we can write this as a to the power of a divided by a to the power of a and this equals one so if this equals one that means the whole of this becomes 1 divided by a to the power of a, then we have divided by a to the power of a. So that means we have inserted 1 here where we have this. Now this is the same trick that we are going to use right here. That means we are going to concentrate on these first two terms. We have 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 and this will give us 1 so if we replace these two these first two terms by 1 that means we are going to have 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9 so that is what we have reduced this to. Now, let's work on this. If you have 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9, divided by 9 to the power of 9, you also concentrate on these first two terms as well. We are going to have it as 1 divided by 9 to the power of 9. Now, let's consider this identity. If you have 1 divided by a to the power of n this equals a to the power of negative n so we apply this very identity right here and this equals 9 to the power of negative 9 so these first two terms here is 9 to the power of negative 9 and we have divided by 9 to the power of 9 so we go ahead if you have 9 to the power of negative 9 divided by 9 to the power of 9, this equals 9 to the power of negative 9 minus 9, and this equals 9 to the power of negative 18. So that is okay. Now we can reduce this. 9 here is a perfect square. So you can write this as 9 is simply 3 to the power of 2. And this is all to the power of negative 18. So we make use of this other identity. If you have a to the power of n or to the power of m, this equals a to the power of n times m. So let's multiply this out. And this will give us 3 to the power of 2 times negative 18 is negative 36. So we have 3 to the power of negative 36. Now recall that there was a cube root. So we have cube root of 3 to the power of negative 36. Now if you have cube root of, maybe this is 3, that is the cube root. If you have cube root of a, this equals a to the power of 1 over 3. Now let's apply this very identity right here so this will give us 3 to the power of negative 36 all to the power of 1 over 3 so what we are going to do is we are going to apply this same identity right here let's multiply this out so this will give us negative 36 times 1 over 3 is simply 3 to the power of 
negative 36 divided by 3. So we go again. This will give us 3 to the power of negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12. So we have 3 to the power of negative 12. This becomes our answer. Or we can as well write it in this form. Recall that if you have a to the power of negative n, this equals to 1 divided by a to the power of n. So this can also be rewritten as 1 divided by 3 to the power of 12. And this becomes the final answer. So that is for this particular problem and that is for the video. Thank you and goodbye.